In 2020, President Trump's wall was planned as a 450 mile and 18.4 billion dollar federal government construction project that went straight into the heart of Kumeye territory without the tribe's consent and thus began the destruction of ancestral sites on Kuchamba Mountain or Tecate Peak, a sacred site to the Kumeye and neighboring tribes. In the beginning of the pandemic, a group of women artists from an indigenous Chicana Mexican background on the U.S.-Mexico border came together through an art collective, reunited by the desire to highlight the ongoing systems of oppression in the borderlands. Centering relationships with the local tribal community, each artist collaborated with the Kumeyaay Nation, whose traditional lands straddle the U.S.-Mexico border and have experienced three cycles of land dispossession. My name is Berenice Vadillo and I'm an artist in Choque. What is Choque? I'm so glad you asked. Choque is a collaborative of women of color, indigenous women, Chicanas and Mexicanas. And what we're about is to create art that challenges the status quo. We are border artists looking at issues and shaking things up. And why Choque with an X? Because X marks the spot. Choque is a crash of cultures of love, of stories, of counter stories, X for Ike, X for Iyoke, X for the space that we need to take as mujeres and as indigenous Chicanas, Mexicanas, and so welcome to Choque. Sandra Carmona is a Wadirica descent, Chicana, the daughter of farm workers and a muralist for more than 20 years. Her art is intended to amplify the voices of her people and to showcase her culture, contributions, struggle, and vibrancy. Jennifer is the daughter of a boarding school survivor, and both sides of her family are rooted in the red earth of Oklahoma. She is a member of Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma and has worked as a licensed marriage and therapist and board certified art therapist for over 15 years. At the core of her work between art and dialogue, Jennifer believes that addressing social justice issues through art expression is most impactful when the artists and viewers are working together. Berenice is a Chicana Spanish-speaking licensed marriage and family therapist, board-certified art therapist, illustrator, scholar, community muralist, and multimedia artist. She is an immigrant from La Piedad, Michoacán, Mexico, and found herself straddling intertwined cultural and subcultural identities her entire life. Berenice is a Chicano park muralist who has worked in communities of social economic need and strives to document and encourage the creation of communal cultural wealth through mural sculpture pop-up art galleries. Selena Calvo was born and raised in Sacramento, California, and is the daughter of parents active in the civil rights movement. Selena is committed to organizing community events that positively impact the residents' belief about their identity and provides a visual counter-narrative to their own community. She is a co-founder of Mercado Colondrina and Traveling urban arts market that promoted entrepreneurship, accessible opportunities for local artists, and to create and sell their work. Selena is a teaching artist at A Reason to Survive located in National City, where she, along with her husband, teaches a class to youth of the South Bay region and LGBTQ community in how to create art interventions at local markets. Ana Maria Herrera is a transborder artist born in Tijuana, Mexico. She began her trajectory in photography, exploring issues of identity, race, culture, and community, inspired by the unique understanding and contrast of the U.S.-Mexico border. As a multidisciplinary artist, she incorporated painting, sewing, welding, woodworking, and ceramics, which she mixed with found objects into her body of work. Through this, she created a window assemblage, installations, performances, which helped her in finding a link to a community engagement projects. Mama, 
Cynthia is a doctoral candidate at UC San Diego in the Ethnic Studies Department with a graduate specialization in critical gender studies. Her work focuses on how tribal nations separated by the U.S.-Mexico border practice traditions defend indigenous existence and lands and are reconnecting and strengthening transborder bonds. Born in L.A., brought up in Las Vegas, and lived in San Diego, Tijuana region for 10 years, Cynthia identifies as Chicana and is deeply involved in relationship making with artists and local tribal communities. We do dream and create Dion Million, poet and indigenous scholar. Million's words pull us to unchain the social constructions of Western epistemological borders by opening, creating, and dreaming of possibilities into material realities. They call for intense dreaming as a theoretical framework that incorporates imagining a decolonial world while calling attention to creating and recreating indigenous possibilities without settler colonialism. Mm -hmm.